a beautiful day for flying today. I'm sure glad it's not windy like it was yesterday and cold. Ooh. And rainy. Of course, one thing we don't do out here in Texas is we complain when it rains. <laughs> the last guy I heard of that complained when it rained, they shot him. I have uh, built 11 airplanes, all original design, and then I sold drawings on one of the airplanes, and approximately 75 of them flying. And I've always tried to build, uh, you know, light, small, compact, economical airplanes that the average person could afford to fly and build. Home belts have much better performance. You have over 600 kits that are plans to choose from, and those start at under $10,000. There's some that are running records of over 400 miles an hour and you can't get anything like that in a manufactured airplane. The DA-11 is Leon's gift to the backyard flyer, powered by, believe it or not, a lawnmower engine. This is a 20 horsepower lawnmower engine built by Briggs & Stratton. Normally they, they first came out with 18 and now we put a new carburetor on it and it develops 20 now. And uh, that gives us real good performance and real good economy. Doesn't burn hardly any fuel. Incredibly, this all-metal plane weighs just 170 pounds. It flies 100 miles to the gallon at 135 miles per hour. We're about to go fly the DA-11, which is quite small, but everything's relative. It flies just like a real airplane. Let's go. The DA-11 gets airborne at 60 miles per hour on just 500 feet of runway. Leon's test pilot, Ken Shugart, is surprised by his performance. It's quite responsive because of its extremely light weight. For its horsepower, it's extremely fast. It's very maneuverable. Basically, I just sit in here and ride. Leon worked as a mechanic in the Air Force and for McDonnell Douglas but has no formal training in aircraft design. He taught himself. I'm dyslexic. Uh, dyslexics don't do as well with the printed word, and we try to work with our hands, and usually we're quite competitive. And, uh, you know, we strive to excel in what we do. When I get on an airplane, I work about six days a week, and I work as high as 16 hours a day. Armed with a few simple tools and a few simple rules, Leon's genius is to build planes that easily match the factory-built product. This is my shop where I design and build airplanes. I can do approximately 99% of the work in here. My design tools are a simple calculator and a notebook. And from there, I visualize what the aircraft is going to look like. I work with metal almost exclusively. I would build the windshield out of metal if I could. The worst enemy of an airplane is weight. We have to lift it off the ground, we have to drag it through the air. Power to weight ratio is the most important thing. You can increase the horsepower, which will cost you more, or you can decrease the weight, which doesn't cost you anything. Back in 1946, the industry built 35,000 airplanes. In 1996, they built just over 1,100. And this is caused by the fact that the price has just gone up and up and up, and the, they've driven the average person out of the market. And this is where the home build has come in and filled the void. But we have a very important place in aviation because right now we're leading the way. 